athletes, and some coaches may get mad at me, but I want to tell them you're not going to lose your, your talent <laughs> in three to four months, okay? It's, it's not just going to go away. <laughs> uh, what God bless you with, you're still going to have it. It's, you're just going to be a little rusty, but everyone will be, okay? No, a lot your gyms are closed all over the place. Um, the other thing I would say is try to keep your same schedule. You know, get up in the morning, eat breakfast, uh, make sure you're getting the proper sleep. I encourage uh, even my niece, I've been working with her, like you cannot stay up all night and binge watch Netflix. I, <laughs> I am a firm believer in getting your REM sleep. And those are the hours between two and five. And most athletes need to be sleep during the time. <laughs> okay. So staying up all night, you're throwing your body off. Uh, you want to make sure you eat healthy and just exercise. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. Um, enjoy not being, you know, <laughs> Have, getting all the constructive criticism from your coaches during this time. I mean, this is a time for you to pause. This is a time for you to kind of get to know yourself outside of your sport. Um, I, I say everything happens for a reason. This is a time to rehab from injuries. So you got to take the positive, and it's not just athletes. I think this is everyone in general. <laughs> take the positive out of this situation in this downtime. Sports will return, and we'll be back on the grind, and you'll be like, I wish I could take a nap. <laughs> So um, just be patient with yourself. That's what I was I would suggest.